Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan Kane here with a cool project I did. It's called a Digital Counter. Now pretty much what it is, is you have 4.5 volts of power. And it counts between 0 and 9. It's kind of confusing, I can't really explain it, but I am going to show you how it works. So here's, this is the power button, so i turn it on and there's a button right here. So as you can see, we get to 0. So zero is equal to zero 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 in binary code. One is zero 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 one. Zero zero two one zero is two. Zero zero one one is three. Zero one zero zero is four. Zero one zero one is five. Zero one one zero is six. Zero one 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 is seven. One zero 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 is eight. One zero zero one is nine. It continues. So I'll shut it back off. So as you can see, if you want to, um, I can. I'm gonna be putting online the how to build it. So pretty much here's the um s setup here. I got half most of this from Jameco. There's the rest from Radio Shack. So first of all, you have a seven segment display, common anode. You have four LEDs. These are 150 ohm quarter watt carbon film resistors. As you can see here, they all have 5% tolerance value. Uh, right here, uh, no, this one. This one right here is a um, 7447 IC chip. It's the um, BCD digital to 7 segment. So you input a uh, binary code into it, and it outputs uh, the what's going into the seven segment right here onto that okay the one at the bottom which is right here that's the counter I'm sending pulses I press down this button on the side it's sending pulses into this which is then counting in binary which is being sent into this now the way this is being these four are being operated they hook, all hooked up into this little hex inverter which is a 7404 as you can see um, this is 7444, this is 7490. Uh, I'll have all of this on my website, so just go into the description and you'll see all that. This is the hex inverter, just inverts the signal. So the connection between these two chips, between these two chips right here, are being um, inverted, sent in this. And also, four of the pins on here are hooked up in like an RS NOR latch type thing, which um, is because whenever I. This one right here is a single pole double throw, a double throw, do a single pole double throw on on system. So pretty much there's a power is going into it, um, and it swaps between whether um which output it is. So pretty much it that allows it to toggle between it. So pretty much uh, you have binary code going between this, um, and then I'm stealing some of the binary com code communication that's going into this. Uh, and I will have all of these parts on here. Uh, and then I had to do a little bit of modding to the, uh, battery pack, which is just four. It's, a, it's designed to hold four, uh, D cells, but, um, I did something that I saw, like, on a weekend project thing that Kip K did. And I did something like that, where I just ran power straight into it. Like that, and I just did soldering, as you can see right there. It works either way, I just wanted to make sure, ensure a good connection. So, let me show you again it working. And, let's see, here's the digital camera thingy. So, let me see if I can toggle this while I was holding it. Kind of hard, it's kind of hard to hold the camera while doing this. That's how it works. Okay. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, please like this video. Jonathan out.